Dr. County ISD is working to give all students an extra level of protection this year. The small tool is called Barricade. It is built to fortify doors during a lockdown. Dana Morris is showing us how that works. The Barricade. It's lightweight, easy to install, and hopefully something that never needs to be used. It's a tool used for emergencies on campuses. Lieutenant Jeff Daniels of ECISD Police says the added protection is a two-phase project that started over the summer. We've adopted this into our standard response protocol for lockdowns. Phase one is complete after adding barricades to every secondary school's classrooms and the classrooms of 10 elementary schools. Phase two is currently underway. Uh, the second phase will be the, re the, the rest of our elementaries and then go back through our campuses and get the doors that we couldn't get on the first phase. Alicia Dominguez has been teaching for 23 years. From the time they step into Odessa High until they leave, these kids are my responsibility. They're my children. So when school officials put a barricade in her classroom, she gladly accepted it. I feel like there's not going to be any way for anybody to get in. So how does the barricade work? Well, what's interesting is if you look closely here, you can see that there's actually a hole drilled into the ground. And they do that so once you close the door with the barricade installed, you can put a pin all the way deep down into the hole, and that is what gives you an extra level of security. Lieutenant Jeff Daniels says every teacher with a barricade has been trained on how to use it. Because with hundreds of students walking the halls of OHS in every other school in the district, if there is an emergency, Daniels says every second can make a difference. What we're looking for is something to slow the perpetrator down to give law enforcement first responders a chance to get there and, and stop the threat. A timely chance to stop the threat means a timely chance to save lives. In Hector County, Dana Morris, News West 9. Dana, thank you. So why was this installed in certain schools and not others? For the time being, the district specifically chose schools that would have a longer response time in the event of an emergency. They do plan to roll the barricade tool out to all schools in a few months.